Welcome back to Tim Burners, the only YouTube soap. Well, except for that penguin one, this one is far more beaver like. With loads of pumping logs and reasons to get demonetized. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. That should be a t shirt. Yes, hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Timber Borners, YouTube's favorite animal soap. Or is it? Because I've heard there's another rival. I'm not talking about Timberborn. I'm talking about those rascal, rascal penguins. Anyway, something I noticed as we do like the zoom out thing now, it's not very rivery anymore. I've added so much water to this map that uh, it just looks like a blue blob. But yeah, I guess that's the that's the power of the mega dam. All right. Anyway, where did we get to last time? I believe, yeah, we, we started filling up the paddy fields. Oh, look, there's corn growing. Oh, look, there's a beaver. Hang on, who's that? Who's that? The great kiwis, they are harvesting some corn. Now, I don't think we can actually eat corn as it is. Yeah, look, we need this, the food factory. You can see at the top, we can turn one corn plus a little bit of log into some corn rations. So we need to unlock that. We need 300 science. Oh, we've got 800 science. Where's all my sciences at? Yeah, look at all my sciences. All the roofs are spinning. Well, except that one. Ignore that one. Oh, no, the light's back on. The dark ash has gone in there. Get those science numbers up. Anyway, so we will unlock the food factory factory. So 300 science. Yes, please. And then we got to shove this somewhere. Now, our, oh no. Oh, it fits in there perfectly. Oh, I was about to say our industrial area doesn't have any room. So I started building a new industrial area over this way. Oh, actually, oh, we could do that. If I have it that way pointing across there, a path across that dam, then we can probably fit a load of buildings like around the back. Oh, at the same time, it, it fits so well in there. Like the building I put in there, the oil press, like there's like a horrible gap. Yeah, I'm going to move that. Sorry, Dom Jari. When you wake up, you're not going to have a job. Oi, oi, what's going on down here? What's going on down here? Butt scratching. Zilla on the butt scratch. The beavers, they love that machine. Absolutely love it. But yeah, right. Let's delete that. Let's get our food factory in there because that's just such a better fit. So we'll up the priority of that. We should have all, all the ingredients. So metal blocks, gears 50. Oh, we're running out of gears and planks. Yeah, okay. We got we got all of those. I do. I probably need to turn on a gear workshop again. Though. Unpause that. Maybe unpause a smelter as well just because we are getting a little bit low on those resources and then we'll rebuild that oil press over here and i think i might actually do what i said i was going to do with the other thing put it that way wang a path over that dam and go up to there decent but yeah in order for that to work we've got to get power to it so we need i think i built yeah can you see like there's a little shaft on top of there we've got to build all of that first and actually to build anything we need a few more logs but first Spring has sprung, which means it's time to do some spring cleaning with today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Today, I've got two trimmers to show you. First up is the Beard Hedger. I've been using this for over a year now, and it's personally the best beard trimmer I've ever used. It has 20 different cutting heights, a titanium coated stainless steel cutting blade, and it has USB-C charging with 60 minutes of runtime. I've also got the Handyman, which as you can see, Paddy is very interested in. This is a foil shaver for a closer and smoother the finish. It also has USB-C charging with 60 minutes of runtime. Plus, it's super compact and airplane friendly, making it perfect for traveling. Plus, both of these can be used in the shower too. So get yourself a beard hedger or handyman by heading to manscaped.com and using code RealCivilEngineer for 20% off plus free international shipping. Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring the Timber Bonners. We got to get back to those hairy old beavers. Look, we have some trees growing up here. I think I do. Yeah, Sid Vicious Munkipo. Uh, you can see, oh, you can literally see them gnawing away at a tree right there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. But that should get us some wood. You remember this wood is reserved for the tapper. Well, the tapper is currently sat on their butt. I think because the, the resin storage is completely full. Oh, actually, look at that. Username checks out. Slackman, slacking around, sat on their butts. Um, but, oh, you can see there are beavers taking some of that away. Maybe I should build, like, another storage. So a cheeky small warehouse there. If I up the priority of that, make it pine resin, then at least that'll keep Slackman a bit busy. Because there is still resin on, like, the edge of these trees. Um, and remember, we're using that to make reinforced planks, which, yeah, it's in this machine here. XR69 TV has that on the go. Oh, and they are very much in use. We've only got two of those, I think, actually. That was the, do you remember the stakes in the ground? Yeah, so up here, we're trying to prevent pollution using these irrigation barriers. Uh, we're making some decent 
progress, although that's too far away from the district. We may need to lose some kohlrabis to try and get over to that. But yeah, as I click on these, you can see they're all missing the treated planks. So they should get built at some point. And then up here, we've got similar. Yeah, all the logs are in. It's just all the treated planks. Right, so my question is, can I build a platform over the barrier? Oh, I can. I can. Okay, so I think my sort of aim is to get over here because look, we've got quite a few trees up here. We've even got a forester, so we can replant. The trouble is we can't actually get over to that because with these new barriers, I, I blocked off the path. So I think what I want to do, if I shove that there, that there, delete that footpath and delete that footpath, then I should just be able to do steps that way, steps there and there, and then we can get over that as long as we shove a cheeky footpath on top. All right, then we have access back to this path, which leads over to this way, so we can get all those trees chopped and replanted and stuff, and then we can get some more scrap metal as well, because although we have a nice amount of scrap metal, nice, uh, I did just turn on the smelter again. Um, oh, by the way, look down here. Oh, that looks very efficient. Does anyone else see that? That can't just be me. That cannot just be me. Anyway, the food factory is built. Shiro Med is in there, but they don't have a recipe. So if we say make corn rations, then we should have another food variety, which helps our beavers out. Because if we click on a little beaver over here, you can see they all have basic needs and stuff. And basically, as you add more of them, like extra nutrition. So we're going to add the corn rations, which we'll add to. That will give them a better well-being score, which gives them better stats, basically. And it makes them live longer. So that's really good. I guess I just need to make sure we have storage for this. So if I shove a double warehouse down there, we can then make that. Oh my goodness, there's a drought approaching. Oh, thank goodness. It's not a bad tide. But yeah, let's make this door. I mean, raw food should go under cooked food, right? So if I do corn there and then on top of that, perhaps like that, that works out quite nicely with a cheeky path along there. We can make this one store the, the corn rations. So that is really good. In the meantime, you're, you're sat in your butt, Andrew Tillett. I'm going to pause you. I think he's just refusing to use the scrap metal because there's 69. And he's like, Matt, that's that's the perfect amount. I cannot use more than that. So yeah, we'll pause that until, until our new footpaths and stuff are in. We're not going to see anything happen. Where's my, where's my haulers at? Okay, we got, we got full up of haulers. That's good. I should probably prioritize this food factory by haulers as well because we don't want shiro med running all the way to get corn right and i think for the first time we've actually got to a point where we had more beavers now than we had before the incident now we don't speak about the incident but basically there was an incident and uh well, let's just say it ended up in a memorial area being built. Oh, which actually finished. Who's that doing their stretches? Dom Jaro. <laughs> he will do anything to avoid work, that guy. Um, oh, that reminds me. Over here, over here, we built loads of, well, we tried to build loads of like power stuff in the poo. That all needs to be built. And ideally, it needs to be built during the drought because in the drought, that's when the bumhole of the map that closes. So this bad water won't be flowing down here. So yeah, what I probably want to do is try and get all the steps and stuff in so we can build all the stuff that's in the in the poo water during that drought. Oh, the trouble is we got no, we literally have no logs. All right, okay, I think it's sensible to try and prioritize this stuff. So super high prioritize. So if that gets put in, we can then turn on all these jobs. That's quite a few more logs. Perhaps even get a ladder down there and make sure all of these trees are cut down. Those two are missing and that one. Right, okay, that's good. This is set up to replant dead trees. I'll super high prioritize that. There's a load of trees here I could try and get to. We're just so short on wood. I mean, there's also a load of birches up here. I mean, maybe. Yes, this is meant to be a nice area of tranquility to remember those that didn't make it. But maybe we could just cheek a little path around the side and then do some deforestation in the background. I'm sure, I'm sure that won't upset the car up that end. By the way, look at all the beavers rushing to do their, their evening yoga. Yes, beavers are happier than ever. We've got an average happiness of 16. Oh, it's because everyone's eating the corn rations. Nice. Right, could be worth helping old Mr. Mung Kipper over here. Let's get another lumberjack flag unlocked. O3 double X boot. Get in there, son. Is it O3 double X boot or is it a 3X boot? I don't know. All I do know is they are chewing on some wood now. Look at that. Beautiful technique. Um, by the way, up here, the tapper shack is pretty much full up. Perhaps Perhaps we should sacrifice some of these trees like for wood. Like we don't need that much resin, I don't think. So maybe, maybe it would make sense just to like, I feel like this is how deforestation starts. You're like, yeah, I know we said we wouldn't cut them down, but let's just cut a few down. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to say cut those down. I'll leave the rest to be tappered or tapped. 
tapped probably makes more sense. Um, oh, look down here. Look what's growing. Oh, yes. Look, you can, you can literally see them growing before our eyes. Oh, look, there's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Is there going to be another one? I reckon it's going to be this one. Oh, no, it was that end. It was that end. But you know what these are, don't you? Eggplants. And so to add eggplant to our diet, I believe in the food factory. Yes. So I think we need to build another food factory. And then we can use eggplants. Oh, we do need some oil, though. So we've we've got to get that oil press back on the goat. Now, none of this stuff is built. It's because we're lacking, we're lacking logs in a big way. In fact, I might turn the plankers off because you are using logs. McLeod asks Nick... You're working too hard. Pause. That's what happens on timber borners. You work too hard, you get sacked. Back up the top of our colony. Yes, these are finally built. So what we want to do as the sun sets, we want to make sure someone's in there. Yep, Couture Hedgehog. They're just chilling by the campfire. But tomorrow morning, they'll be heading up this way. Um, along with who's going to go in the lumberjack flag? Richard Hauser. Hauser. Hauser? Uh, should probably get another one as well. User error. Wait, is that actually... <laughs> Is that actually a beaver or have I just like, have I just broken something? So you guys will chop the remaining wood down up there. Okay, that's good. Um, oh boy, oh boy. We're going into a drought, 0.2 days. And we're down to 300 water. How did this happen? Panic! <laughs> right, gonna need some extra log bumpers. Lathrea, Francis, Sapient, Dom Jari. Finally got a job, Dom. It's now a drought. So let's raise all the floodgates. Um, oh, yeah. And then down here, these wheels are going to stop spinning, which means we have no power. Oh, actually, actually, no, no, no. It's dry season. It's dry season. We've got to go build this stuff. We've got to build this stuff. All right, assign priorities. We need to build all these wheels. Oh, no, actually, I want to build from the back. Otherwise, they're going to get trapped. Actually, I think, yeah, as long as I as long as long I stay on top of it, beavers shouldn't get trapped. But right, what I need to do, I need to disconnect this, this area. You're going to okay. <laughs> Good times we had there, but um, we need stairs down there, stairs down there and there. I think I may actually delete like one of these shafts just so we can get footpaths in, and then hopefully we can go build over that way. I mean, we may need to we may need to path like along this edge just so we can build there as well. Let's high prioritize these stairs, All right? And then hopefully this stuff will get built during the drought. We got six and a half days. Uh, oh, we're up to a hundred logs now, so that's good. Uh, as we got beavers that don't have jobs, you may as well turn on the the builder's hut again. So you guys can go in there. I think you will make good build. Oh, no. What's that? What is that? Struct is better than civil. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't, mate. There will be no bashing of civil engineers in, in timber borners. It's time to turn on the wheel of pain. Now, previously, we used to shout shame. Today, we'll be shouting pain, 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 pain. Nice. So we got our beavers providing power for down here again. So that's good. Oh, I can't structure was better than civil. What are you Patreons like? We should all be on team engineering. It doesn't matter what sort of discipline we are. We're all engineers. Why can't we all just get along? Anyway, to be fair, maybe, maybe it was a bit harsh to shame them, considering they are engineers and what I just said. Still, that's in the past now. No point dwelling on the mistakes we may have made in the past. Uh, by the way, what is that red stuff? What is that? Oh, it's the coffee bush. Oh, we can make coffee. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, the coffee brewery. Did I build one of those in the end? I don't think I did. That requires 200 HP. So perhaps we add that to down here. Because most buildings are... Oh, actually, no, 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 no. I need another food factory, don't I? So I need to work out how best to use the space down here. I could potentially do that with a path out this end and connect that up to the dam. Like, that's not too offensive, I don't think. Remember, that one will be eggplant rations. So that's that sorted. And then the coffee place. Oh, it doesn't fit in that hole. If I had a, a 4x4, I could get this there and that there. Yeah, I think that works. So if I flip it to the past there, that's quite good. We then got a gap in there for something and a bit of storage. Oh, I wonder actually, do we store coffee in like that sort of thing? Because it's a liquid. Oh, we do. Oh no, that's grease. <laughs> Don't drink grease, people. There's the coffee. Oh, there is coffee. Okay. So what I'll probably need is a liquid storage like that. And then a small warehouse like that. One can store the coffee beans. And then this can store the coffee. Nice. Okay. That's actually coming along quite nicely, that area. Although, obviously, they haven't built anything. It's just planned out nicely. It's not coming along nicely. It's just planned. Uh, meanwhile, how are water levels looking? Oh, not great, actually. Yeah, we are pumping quite a lot of water. And the, the paddy-filled area, I mean, down here, they've 
completely dried out. Thankfully, not actually needed. Yeah, these eggplants are still in water range. So I think the paddy fields are more one for the future. But yeah, keeping these running during the drought isn't ideal. I really should have kept an eye on the water situation. Going down to 300 before a drought. Rookie error, really. Architectural error, you could say. Right, anyway, how are, how are every other stat looking? Food's really good. Logs are up to 200 now. So that's actually quite good as well. We have now pretty much chopped down all those trees. There's a couple more remaining. The, the downside about replanting the dead ones as well is um there's no there's no water up here. I think they do still do they still plant them? Because like if they die in 12 days, I don't really I don't really mind. No, he's just he's just on the lookout, like wondering where the rain's coming from. Okay, I'll tell you what, they may as well pause you, because that's another hauler or builder or something. Um oh, and speaking of which, how are they getting on over here? So it looks like we got the staircases and man, these guys, they are slow. I still missed it. Did you see that? I was like, oh, this they're, they're walking so slowly. I still can't click on one. Hand eye coordination of like a six year old I have. But yeah, since we're doing stairs back there, I think I probably just want to change or tweak the priorities. So if I keep that edge very low, then those two have got to be low. I basically just want like a path so that we can build them without blocking everything off. So I think if we do it like that way in our priorities, we should be good. I mean, actually, I can probably prioritize like the middle ones because we got steps down that way as well. Yeah. So if I do like that one, that one and that one, and that should be fine. I can even tell them to do those next and then I shouldn't have to keep popping over. I don't need to micromanage. I think I've actually used the priority system sensibly maybe. Um, oh, and look, our first power wheel is in. It's just slightly annoying. We have to build all of these shafts in order to actually get it anywhere. Oh, maybe that's something I should prioritize as well, because I don't want I don't want beavers getting like trapped. Oh, yeah, I've got five different. The, the thing is, I only look at like the, the high and very high priorities and maybe normal. But if I want them to build stuff like not as high priority. I can use this one. It's called low priority. So that will build it after like the normal stuff. Yeah. So basically if I low priority like all the easy bits, I tell you what, I'm a changed man. Look at me wow. using priorities. Can I get some compliments in the comments, please? Because I reckon they'll build that perfectly without me having to do anything and no beaver will get stranded. Right. Anyway, since everything else seems to be fine, shall I just like time lapse the build here? See what happens. Right. Time lapse. Go. Well, actually, actually, maybe I should slow down the time lapse because I've just realized. Yeah, look, it's the last day of the drought, which means the poo water will come back on. Oh, it means we're not going to be able to finish all this. I'm going to have to change all my priorities. <laughs> no. Uh, by the way, during that time lapse, we had a hell of an influx of like beavers. So we've got all of these adult beavers, 57 of them. We got five beaver childs as well. So they're going to grow up pretty soon. So overall numbers, we're, we're actually, we're over 60 now, which means we have homeless beavers again. Yeah, now, thankfully, my past self looked after a future self, as it always does. Gotta love past Matt, absolute legend. Um, but we basically, we left space for an extra barrack. So we can shove that in there. That'll give us an extra 10 space. So no beavers will be sleeping on the streets. Um, in the meantime, I see beavers sat in their butts. Yeah, you've just gone to get food, but you were sat in your butt. Some backpack. So you're now paused. Looks like soybeans are a little bit low. Actually, could we plant some more if that's the case? Oh, no, no. Oh, that's why the water level went down. Oh, no, all this food's dying. Oh, knobhead. It's because I didn't pause these because I needed the water. The water levels dropped from there. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bit of a disaster. I'll tell you what. Maybe I should like dynamite this out so it's a bit lower. That would require coming over this way, getting this back up and running. It's a deep water pump. Some backpack. That's what you get for sitting on your butt a second ago. You're now a poo pumper. It does mean we need our explosive thing back on. So I think that's you. Yeah. So Johnny, get in there. Make us some dynamite. So I'll just do like a single track for now. So I'll load a dynamite up to there. But I do want to make like all of this a bit deeper. So probably literally dynamite like all of that stuff. Oh, I can't believe we've lost all of those plants. Oh, thankfully the drought has ended, but that's such a rookie mistake. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Thankfully, water is returning. So let's unpause that forester. Very take. Go up there. Replant the dead trees. Uh, you two have nothing to do now. So pause, you guys. All right. And then, oh, no, the bum hole, the bum hole. It's opening. It's opening. Uh, how is the building going? Oh, do I risk my builders, my beautiful builders? Or do I just pause the wheel? Yeah, I could just pause the wheels. I just, I don't want to undo all my work, basically. 
quickly. But if I pause the wheels, then we can just unpause them in the next drought. So I think we'll keep an eye. Oh no, the poo's the poo's already flowing. It's already flowing. I don't know how much time we'll have exactly. I mean, we are pumping it as well now. So we are keeping the levels sort of down. But yeah, we just got to keep an eye on that level there. And when it starts getting high, we'll just pause these. For now though, we've got another compact water wheel in. Oh no, levels, levels are up, levels are up. Okay, pause them, pause them. Thankfully it's night time, so beavers couldn't build anyway. But yeah, look, there's the, there goes the water. So that's now flowing through there. Beavers shouldn't go in there anymore because they're all paused. So hopefully they'll just work on like these shafts and stuff. Um, I think we're safe over here as well because yeah, there's no actual steps down to get to these. But yeah, this is sort of showing like how much power we're going to get. Oh, that's annoying. That wheel's not spinning. Why is that one not spinning? That should spin a little bit, surely. But yeah, you can see this is really going to get us some good power, particularly when we, when we put that thing over here and we can control this. I think that will probably save the colony in terms of power. Oh, actually, speaking of power, we should have water returning so we can unpain these guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all flooding. It's all flooding. No. I forgot to open these floodgates. Oh, dear. I've just been wasting loads of water. I was like, why Why isn't there water down here yet? I flooded everything. Oh, no. Oh, it's all flooding everywhere. Why is that so high? Oh, no. Look how much water there is. Oh, I flooded everything. I flooded the entire place. During that drought, I did not think that I would have troubles with flooding. Oh, man. Will this even sort itself out? I may need to, like, open these paddy field gates just to, like, let some extra water out. I mean, maybe I can use this as, like, a bypass just to like allow things to settle. So that should actually, that's actually quite a good idea. Fair play, mate. Right, paddy fields filled up. Got a bit of a bypass going on. So there should be less water coming down this way. Beavers are happier than ever, even though they're they're being flooded. Right, and this should show me as well a bit of a glimpse as to how my bad water management will work. So you can see it shouldn't flood down that way. Okay, nice. For now, let's raise that back up. We can lower these ones again because downstream seems to be sorted now. Uh, we'll get these on pause again and then we'll just fill up our water storage completely and then we should be good. No, why are you flooding? Why is everything flooding so much? What's going on today? Oh, look at the beavers numbers. We've actually we've lost a few there. We're down to 60, which means we don't actually need our new barrack. So I'm guessing with our five breeding pods, we're sort of floating around the 60 beaver mark. Yeah, look, one's just been born. Little baby. Oh, Ultra Rage Beast. That's a cute name. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're floating around that that sort of number. So we do need this barrack. And we've got seven beavers without jobs. What jobs can we give them? I don't really know. Now, there's so many beavers just sat on their butts as well. Hey, O3X boot. I thought I thought we had a deal. You had that great technique and now you're just wasting it. You're just wasting your life away. Anyway, I have sacked him. He's now unemployed. Literally thinking, maybe controversial, just get another holding post in. I'm going to high prioritize it as well, just because that gives us like 10 jobs and that will like make everyone a little bit more efficient at their jobs as as well. And um, I could actually get another builder's hut in because we got so much stuff to build at the moment. And I feel like it's not really being done. I shove a builder's hut down there. High prioritize that as well. Because we've now got eight beavers without jobs. That is not good. Everyone should be working. And yeah, like this, this lovely planned industrial area, nowhere near built. All right, there's the builder's place done. Four brand new builders. Welcome. Uh, go get building. We got so much stuff to build. Yeah, nice. Things are looking good. Although actually things aren't looking that good. The food situation has gone back to we only have two varieties of food. I think that's because of what happened up here when we lost everything. I mean, hopefully with all these dynamites due to go in, we should be able to solve that fairly soon. But yeah, that's why we've got more builders just so stuff like that can be built. We can do our industrial thing. We can do all of our huge shaft work over here. But yeah, so far, even though we had the bad tide, we lost a couple of beavers to the incident. I would say this is going to be one of the best seasons ever. And I feel like this could be like a long season as well. So if you want to see that, be sure to boost the like button. Keep the algorithm promoting these videos. Uh, and for now, I'll say peace, love and beavers. Bye, guys.